Mic check, mic check. Alrighty, my name's B4. I ride for Block Stars, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to ride wheelies. So, if you wanna make wheelies, there's three main ingredients clutch, throttle, brake. Clutch, throttle, brake. Those are the ingredients to making sick wheelies. So, basically, what I'm going to do in this video is start off by showing you some clips of how a good wheelie should look. And this is a clip of me just having some fun riding a wheelie showing off a little bit I'm gonna show you what a good wheelie should look like in these first few clips then I'm gonna show you what not to do when learning how to ride wheelies and then I'm gonna show you actually step by step how to learn how to ride wheelies so what I did is I put a couple different GoPros all over my bike so I could get some really interesting different camera angles so you could really get a good idea exactly what I'm doing when I'm riding wheelies in order to ride wheelies so hopefully this video will help you out I want to do a lot more videos like this in the future and kind of pass along some of my knowledge to new riders who are just getting in to stunt riding. This video will help out anyone that wants to learn how to wheelie something that has a motor and two wheels. So basically if it's a dirt bike, street bike, um, fucking anything with two wheels and a motor, this is basically okay, how you're going to want to learn how to wheelie it. And this is how I mounted the GoPros um, on my bike. And I got um, quite a few different cool angles and some really good shots. Here I am again, just kind of showing off. Another thing I want to talk about is um, bike setup. Bike setup's really important. The best bike to learn how to stunt ride on if we're talking street bike is the Honda F4i hands down no other bike is even close um, they're really reasonably priced they are freaking bulletproof which is really important when you're talking about a stunt bike because you want something that is going to hold up if your bike is broken you're not really going to be progressing very fast because you're not going to be able to ride because your shitbox bike is uh, broken. You want to have anywhere between like 15 and 20 pounds of PSI in your tire. Um, this is going to make the bike not want to go side to side as much and um, just really handle a lot better. Um, and this is for someone who's just learning how to wheelie. You know, if, if you're already, um, you know, an advanced rider, you um, probably have your preference on that already. Um, some people like running a lot. Some people like running a little. I'm kind of in the middle. I'm like in the 25 to 30 um, PSI range in my rear tire. But 15 to 20 is going to be your best bet. You can see me doing a 12 o'clock scrape. Just kind of clowning and another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to top off your oil to the top of the window or the glass you definitely don't want to overfill it but definitely you want to fill it all the way to the top um, also get a crash cage tacticalminds.com chad will hook you up he's a good dude and they got them from a bunch of different companies um, Cox Stunt Parts is also um, an awesome place to get stunt parts from, but they make them for a limited number of bikes, so they might not make it for your bike. But um, if you type in Block Stars, B L O X, 
and you never ever want to do this. You always want to cover the rear brake. Always, always, always your foot should be on the rear brake because this is how you loop out wheelies and wreck. If someone is not covering the rear brake, you know they're a squid. Choppy's bad. You don't want to chop it up. You're not a chef. So here, I'm just basically showing you what not to do when riding you wheelies. definitely do not want to do this. See the way I'm chasing it out? You see the way I'm chasing it? Don't want to do that. That's no bueno. No bueno. So basically, when you're first learning how to clutch up wheelies, you might think that, you know, it's cool because you're doing a longer wheelie, but really you're not in control at all, and the bike can be really unpredictable when you do power wheelies and chase out your wheelies. So you don't want to do that just because it's not safe. You'll end up hitting somebody. There's a thousand different things that could go wrong, and um, the bike can also be very unpredictable, um, especially if you're a newer rider. Um, I've seen a, so many people wreck. Um, you know doing that when it's so unnecessary um, You also want to be smooth on the throttle at least as smooth as possible No one's gonna you know be uh, an expert um, You know their first time doing something but at the same time you Want to try and practice you know the the right things to do there you can see again me uh, lumberjacking the shit out of the throttle, um, and that is what you should not do. There you see me chasing out one of my wheelies and a power wheelie, when basically it's all in the clutch up. If you fucking chase out your wheelies like this, this is how you wreck. If you don't, don't clutch it do upright. This. That's how you fucking run into the back of somebody. Fucking and just don't do it. Everyone does it, but don't. It's not smart. Not good. No bueno. So basically, I'm going to show you what to do, though. That's what you want to do. practice that. Practice clutching it up and hitting the rear brake. This is the right way. So it's in your head. You want this in your head. This in your head. It's got to get locked in. And I'm about to run out of gas. This uh, gives me time to explain another very important thing. When you're low on gas, do not do wheelies. If you run out of gas while you're in a wheelie, you will do what's called a mouse trap. It is not fun. It's when you fly over the bars. I'm a professional though, so I'm going to get these shots before it gets dark. You don't want to be choppy. That's a no-no. No, no, no. No, no. no. This, no, no. No bueno. No nacho grande. Capiche? Capiche. Show you one more. Scummy, niggas. Scummy. I am a motherfucking a fool. Really. I'm such a fool. Alrighty, so what you're going to do when you're first Acting a fucking fool. Is we don't want to do sit down. Sit downs are harder. They feel more comfortable, but they're really not easier. Yeah, it's a trick. You don't got as much control. It's a trick. What you want to do? It's going to feel the like they're easier, but really they're not. You can see my gas. The bike wants to go side to side. Um, it's harder to clutch it up to balance point. It down. And it. it's just way harder to ride them. They're going to feel Set like they're down. easier, but you want to do staggered. So it's just locked in your mind if you go back too far to hit the brake. Clutch it. Set it down. Clutch it. Set it down. And do not... 
So as you can see, here is a good shot of me using the rear brake with my foot. And this is me riding out a little bit longer wheelie and gives you an idea of you know what you want to work towards. Another thing I can say is if you like this video, you know, um, support the streets, blockstars.com, or shit, even just throw us a donation. You know, I'm not one to beg, though, but um, if we helped you out, I mean, you fucking tip your bartender, your waiter, so, you know, throw us a tip if you can afford it. I know a lot of stunt riders are broke, so if you're broke, you know, um, I I'm not trying to make you go hungry or anything, but uh, if you can, it's much appreciated. And this video is kind of random and kind of all over the place. Uh, so we're going to be doing a lot more videos like this in the future. So uh, if you're not following, don't worry. We got you. Um, we'll go into detail um, on how to do this shit uh, a lot more. As you can see right there, just popping the clutch. Idle at about 3,000 to 4,000 RPM. And just pop it up. Pop a wheelie baby and then just set it back down just so that's locked in your freaking brain and that's all you got to do simple when you got uh you know someone like me that's been around the block a few times uh teaching you to make shit real simple i have a lot of really good people that taught me uh you know shout out josh clem shout out brian smith he was really the first one that really put me up on game back when I was riding a fucking CRF 50 when I was like 13 years old or some shit. So. Shout out to Brian Smith and, and definitely Josh Clem. That dude was so motherfucking cool. He's like, hey, you want to learn how to do stop? Jump on the back of my bike. I'll, I'll do a stoppie and then you can learn what it feels like. That, that was my dude right there. He's a killer too. So you can see me using the foot brake some more. Um, just clutching it up and then setting it down with the foot brake. And the reason you do that is so if you go back too far, it's automatically in your head, I hit the rear brake to bring it back down. And that's the way you're going to balance it is just with the throttle and the rear brake. It's like a, you know, walking the tightrope. Set to about three, three and a half if you want to. Then we're going to roll, we're going to pull on the clutch. Rev it up and just dump it. Dump it and jump it. Then you can take this hand off. You did. Set it down. So, so practice these things that I'm telling you, you and this will help you out a lot. Clutch Another thing you can do Set that's going to make down. this way easier. Clutch it. Set it down. Is and get do gearing. Ever fucking chase out your wheelies like this. this I've put this clip it. in there like three fucking Don't times, but it is important. Wow. Okay, so anyway, you can gear that. your bike. Um, so, if you don't have very much money, go with like a two down sprocket in the front or a three down sprocket. If you go one tooth down in the front, that's like going three up in the back. You go two down in the front, that's like going six up in the back. You go three down in the front, that's like going nine up in the back. You know, nine up in the back, you're going to notice a big difference. You honestly are going to notice a big difference with just two down in the front and it's going to make shit way easier. Um, the ideal gearing, if you're just learning, um, depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to still ride streets, 10 up is about perfect, anywhere from like 10 to 15 max. If you're trying to ride lots, 20, 20 tooth is about perfect. Um, but really, I mean, you can do all the stuff on stock gearing. I can. Um, but it's just going to make it way harder to learn. Can you dig it? Yeah, buddy. Like I said, action. 
um, you know, it's a little more the Honda F4i 2001 to 2003 because it's got the split seat. Practice and persistence. The two P's. You want to learn how to start? Practice and fucking persistence. It's just like anything. That's all this shit is. Like it's just dad. practice. Just fucking practice is all this shit is. That's all you got to do. Fucking practice, practice, practice. And you'll catch on to the shit so fucking fast it'll make your, your eyes blink. And then just getting back up when you wreck. You're going to wreck if you ride. Like, the shit's going to happen. So you just got to be um, ready to get back on your bike. If you can walk, you can ride. So that, that's what a lot of it is. A crash cage, again, help you out a ton. Um, and also, just get a stunt bike. Some people have like a brand new bike they bought at the dealership. Just, you know how many people I've seen wreck their brand new bike? It's not, not pretty. Um, so, it, it's worth it to spend the extra, you know, two grand or something to get some Street Fighter or, or wrecked F4i and, you know, put it back together. If you got any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try and uh, make any videos that you guys request. And until next time, I'm Audi 5 fucking thousand because I got to get to Tijuana fucking Mexico to go kill some Mexico fucking streets. So, uh, peace out. I'm going to fucking miss my goddamn flight. I'm going to render this video and then I'm going to have my chick upload it. So, thanks again for watching. Please do subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and tell me all the shit that uh that i said that was wrong in this video if anything um i'm pretty sure that i know what the fuck i'm talking about though peace